Thank you very much, uh, Stephanie, for those powerful uh, welcoming comments. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for, uh, for being with us uh, today. My name is Ulber Baraktari. I'm with the Special Competitive Studies Project, or SCSP. And from 2015 to 2017, I had the great privilege of serving as Secretary Carter's Deputy Chief of Staff for Policy at the Pentagon. We at the SCSP are deeply honored to be co-hosting this event with uh, Stephanie. Dr. Carter was a personal mentor to many of us at SCSP, and his vision of connecting innovation with national security and bringing together the government, private sector, and academic institutions is at the heart of our mission. So thank you so much, Stephanie, for your confidence in Team SCSP to put together an event that aspires to advance Dr. Carter's incredible legacy. And as, Dr. as President Biden said at the memorial service for Dr. Carter at the National Cathedral, thank you very much for sharing Dr. Carter with us over many, many years and for your own service uh, to our country. I fondly remember you joining us on many trips to Iraq and Afghanistan at your personal risk and expense uh, to visit our deployed troops and the kindness and the support you showed to them. So on behalf of the entire team at SESP, we are truly grateful. I also want to thank my dear friend, Julie Park, uh, the CEO of Birch Events uh, DC, an exceptional professional and human being. Julie was Dr. Carter's right-hand person for nearly 15 years, and she was instrumental in conceptualizing and putting together today's event. So thank you so much, uh, Julie. And, and last but not least, I want to thank our SCSPs, uh, Jennifer Sheehan, Chelsea Holt, and Luke Vanender, they helped organize the exchange and are executing it now as we speak. Now, when we conceived of this event a few months back, we agreed with Stephanie that this would not be an event that would retroactively look at Dr. Carter's legacy. President Biden hosted a remarkable memorial service at the National Cathedral that did just that. Rather, we wanted to put together an event that sought to advance Dr. Carter's legacy, particularly his incredible legacy of connecting innovation and national security. So each of the sessions today is intended to do just that. We will start first with a brief video in which you will hear, in his own words, Dr. Carter talk about how he was drawn into this work, his vision, and how he went about implementing his vision. We will then hear the White House's view on the topic of innovation and national security. What are the opportunities, but also what are the risks and dangers? And we are delighted to be welcoming the Honorable Dr. Liz Schroeder Randall, the Homeland Security Advisor, and a longtime colleague of Dr. Carter's to address us on that topic. Now, as many of you know, Dr. Carter held nearly every leadership position of consequence at DOD, and one of those was as the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition Technology and Logistics. Now, during his time there, Dr. Carter was uh, instrumental in ensuring that MRAPs, the specially designed ambush-resistant vehicles, got to our troops in Iraq and Afghanistan to protect them against IEDs. But another thing that Dr. Carter did was help initiate the development of B-21, the new strategic bomber that the U.S. Air Force just recently unveiled. And we're delighted to welcome the Honorable Frank Kendall, Secretary of Air Force, this morning. Secretary Kendall was a member of what Dr. Carter uh, called his dream team, which also included Alan Estevez, who's in the audience uh, here, working closely with him at DOD. And Secretary Kendall will speak today about the various innovative initiatives that the Air Force and the Space Forces uh, are pursuing. Another issue that Dr. Carter cared deeply about was to ensure that our forces were the best designed, equipped, and trained, not just for the challenges of today, but for the dangers of tomorrow. So we're excited to welcome for a fireside chat two outstanding defense leaders who combine strategic vision and implementation acumen, the Honorable Bob Work, who was Dr. Carter's Deputy Secretary of Defense, and General Eric Smith, the Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps, and who was Dr. Carter's Senior Military Assistant. Now, running DOD, the largest organization in the world, requires not just exceptional managerial skills, but also extraordinary ability to assess threats to our national security and come up with strategies to confront them. And we are thrilled to be welcoming three American and one allied leader who excelled at doing just that, Secretary Rice, Gates, Panetta, and Sir Alex Younger. Each of them played an instrumental role in both winning the Cold War and in confronting the threats of the war on terrorism. 
From there, we will then examine the future of defense innovation in light of the changing character of war that we're witnessing in the ongoing Russian aggression against Ukraine. For this discussion, we're welcome to host an exchange between General C.Q. Brown Jr., Chief of Staff of the Air Force, Michelle Flournoy, one of our nation's foremost defense experts, Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster, the 25th National Security Advisor, and Dr. Eric Schmidt, our chair at SCSP, former chair of the Defense Innovation Board, and former CEO of Google. Our own CEO, Ili Bayraktari, will moderate that discussion. After a brief lunch break, we will then turn to another topic of crucial importance, cyber. Dr. Carter was the architect behind two of the first DOD cyber strategies, and we're delighted to host a fireside chat on the topic with Ann Neuberger, the Deputy National Security Advisor for Cyber and Emerging Threats, Jen Easterly, Director of the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, and Ambassador Nate Fick, the first U.S. Ambassador at Large for Cyberspace and Digital Policy. Now, of course, no discussion on cybersecurity will be complete without Eric Rosenbaugh of Harvard University. Eric is one of our nation's foremost experts on cyber, and he also served as the chief of staff to Dr. Carter at DOD and his co-director at the Belfer Center at Harvard University. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the many positions that Dr. Carter held during his long career at DOD was as the head of ATNL, which up until 2018 included also the research and development portfolio. And so we, uh, and this is one critical area in which Dr. Carter really uh, uh, tried to push the envelope against tremendous bureaucratic headwinds. And we're thrilled to work, welcome four outstanding leaders who have and are continuing to push the R&D and acquisition envelope now. Dr. Stephanie Tompkins, the director of DARPA, Doug Beck, the newly appointed director of Defense Innovation Unit, Dr. Will Roper, the CEO of Istarian, the inaugural director of DOD's Strategic Capabilities Office, and Raj Shah, who led DIUX at the very beginning, including its original expansion across the United States. And we're thrilled that Sally Darnley of Palace Advisors will moderate this panel. Now, when he was the secretary, Dr. Carter used to be asked frequently, what is one thing that keeps you up at night? And he would always respond by noting that the one thing that he tried to do is look into the future and what would keep his successor and his successor's successor up at night. And so we're thrilled to welcome today for a keynote address, the Honorable Kath Hicks, the Deputy Secretary of Defense, a position that Dr. Carter also held to hear about the work that DOD is currently doing on innovation. After Dr. Hicks, we'll then transition to a panel discussion on new technology, technological solutions to national security challenges. Dr. Carter was always on the lookout for new sources of innovation and new technologies to keep our nation safe. So we're thrilled to be joined by three leaders of such entities, Aki Jain, president and CTO of Palantir, Chris Lynch, the CEO of Rebellion Defense and the inaugural head of the Defense Digital Service, and General Terence O'Shaughnessy, the Vice President of SpaceX. They will also be joined by Dr. Craig Martell, the first Chief Digital and Artificial Intelligence Officer at DOD, who left an impressive career in the private sector to help DOD embrace big data and AI. And we're so grateful that Dr. TJ Patil, a scientist and a pioneer of many innovations in and out of government, has agreed to moderate this event. And DJ, thank you for all your help from the uh, beginning on this uh, event. Our final panel takes a step back and looks at innovation in all of its dimensions. So we're truly honored to welcome today three distinguished scientists who have not just pushed the boundaries in science, but have broken through multiple glass ceilings. Dr. Kim Buggle, the director of Lawrence Livermore National Lab, Dr. Shirley Ann Jackson, President Emerita of RPI, and Dr. Maria Zuber, the Vice President of MIT and Co-Chair of the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology. And our own DJ, uh, PJ Makish, will moderate the discussion. After this panel, we will then have a demonstration of a technology that is currently in development, but that could have tremendous benefits for our national defense. We're thrilled to welcome Mr. Chris Taylor, the CEO of Valeria and a former student of Dr. Carter's at the Harvard Kennedy School to demonstrate a technology that his company is developing. Finally, we wanted to end today's uh, event on a very high note. Dr. Carter was a firm believer in the best military advice and a huge proponent of healthy civil male relations. And who better to conclude the event today than the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Milley. 
a combat tested leader and someone who is guiding the joint force through three tectonic shifts. Russia's aggression against Ukraine, China's increasing belligerence in the Indo-Pacific and a significant evolution in the character of conflict. So a tremendous lineup of some 28 speakers, uh, if I may say so. I would like to thank each of them for taking the time out of their busy schedules to be with us today. So thank you uh, sincerely. And last but not least, I would also like to thank Dr. Eric Schmidt, whose generosity enabled the creation of SESP and the convening of today's event. Dr. S Carter skillfully recruited Dr. Schmidt to be the inaugural head of the Defense Innovation Board in 2016. And seven years later, Dr. Schmidt remains as committed to helping our government harness the promise of new technologies to keep America safe and to encourage private sector to help our government. As Dr. Schmidt says, this is the most important work of his career. Finally, I would like to thank our CEO, Ili, and the entire SCSP team for putting together today's event. We have done our best to make sure that this exchange advances Dr. Carter's legacy, but that it is also a good use of your time. With that, thank you again for being with us uh, today. I hope you will enjoy it and learn from the exchanges today. I now invite you to watch a brief video and hear Dr. Carter, in his own words, describe how he came to, appre uh, to appreciate innovation and national security, what his vision was, and how he went about implementing it. Thank you again. Thank you.